Hi guys, thank you very much for tuning in. This is Pyro JM, and um, today we're going to be doing our first video of 2015. Um, and we're going to do things very slightly differently. Um, last year, if you saw the, if you saw the video that I did, um, I did all the fireworks from different displays in one stash. Um, this year we're going to do it slightly differently. We're going to do a video for each stash, and uh, the reason that is is just to to give you a bit more of an idea on budget and just you know generally the kind of way that I set up my displays. Um, thank you very much for everyone who subscribed, and thank you very much for all the messages and the comments and the likes. Um, I really appreciate it, um, and I apologise that I haven't done yet the firework information video that I promised that I would do. Um, uh, yeah, I just didn't have the time last year, but I will get that done over the next few days um, and uh, you know, I hope that it will be useful to you. What we'll do is we'll have a look at uh, 1.3G and 1.4G. We'll have a look at what, what's the difference in there because there is a big bit of a myth and misunderstanding with that. So we'll have a look at that. And we will also have a look at the different types of fireworks. We'll look at how you know if you're getting a good deal with the fireworks that you're buying. And uh, we'll also have a look at safety and setting up, and if we have time in the video, we'll also briefly um, look at the difference between American and uh, English fireworks. You know, what's what, what the difference. Um, so as you can see, we've got loads of fireworks this year. Um, all that lot there is for two displays. One of those is my display, the other one is the New Year's Eve display for the village that I always do. Um, but that's just a brief look, and we'll have a look at those later. Um, just quickly before we carry on, um, I would definitely recommend um, that if you are into your fireworks, join the Firework Forum. If you go onto the website where I get all my fireworks from, which is Galactic Fireworks, um, if you go onto their website, you'll find the forum. And on the forum, um, it's free to join. You'll have uh, the chat box there. You can chat to anyone if you've got any questions. Nigel and his family who run Galactic Fireworks they are there most of the time and most till late in the evening. So if you've got any questions, you go on there, it's free to join and uh, you can introduce yourself. There's competitions. Um, they have uh, monthly auctions. I think it's the first Monday of every month, uh, nine or nine, nine o'clock, something like that in the evenings. Um, they have an auction where they sell some stuff, which is not necessarily on their website, actually. So some stuff is actually old stock, rare fireworks, and you can buy them, um, you know, for sometimes very, very good prices. Um, so if you look on there, and also I think they have a forum price list for members. As I said, it's free to join and uh, you get some great discounts on some products. I don't know if there's a minimum spend, so I would just double check that if I were you. Um, but, um, you know, they give you some great, great prices. Not only a Galactic already, you know, rock bottom on prices anyway, you get even further discount just for being a forum member. So without further ado, let's go ahead and look at display number one. Uh, display number one, this one is for a, about a mid-sized garden and um, it, the budget was for less than £150. So what we got for that, we got a pack of rockets that you can see there. Uh, we've got a finale cake and we've got a selection box of fireworks. So let's go ahead and have a look and see what we got. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and balance this on here for a second um, so we can... Go ahead and have a look at the goodies in this box. If I can get the lid open. Right. So I, oh, safety lighter. Don't need that one. Well, um, as I'm sure most of you have already seen these these safety lighters. Um, this one's a bit crumbled. Um, yeah, uh, I wouldn't use these. Um, I would use port fires. They're far more reliable, far easier to light fireworks, and safer. Um, so get some port fires, or if your budget allows it, get a Rothenburger, which is very good. But you'll see that in another stash video that I will do later. Um, okay, so let's have a look. Now this is the Platinum Selection Box, um, available at Galactic Fireworks. The price there is $79.99. Now this Selection Box um, has a large variety of fireworks in there, as you can see. And uh, just to give you an example, for the forum members, um, I think this box is only £59, so that's £20 off the uh, the price at Galactic. The, the box itself, if you go to most retailers, will be full price, um, which is, I think, £100 is the, is the price of the box. Um, Galactic, they do it for £79.99, and if you're a forum member, it's £59. So, you know, again, a great deal. So, the box is made by Fireworks International, that are a respected brand. They make some very good fireworks. 
And um, this is really designed for someone who, you know, wants really decent quality fireworks, um, but at the same time, um, they want to stick within a reasonable budget. So let's have a look and see what we have. I haven't had a look at these yet. So um, we've got four of these uh, shock waves, which are single shot tubes. Um, you've got a green, that's a green to red star and time range. Sorry, it's not really focusing very well. Apologies for that. Um, I don't know if all these are different or not. Um, oh, they are different. Super. So we've got crackling mine to red palm and white glitter. And then we have, so as I said, you get four of these single shot tubes. This one, silver tail to red glitter and white glitter. Um, and this one here is crackle tail to blue star and chrysanthemum. Um, let's, let's uh, oh, right. Oh, okay, cool. So this is the packing content, and that's quite cool, actually. They actually give you the net explosive content of each firework, which is great. Um... We'll talk about that in the firework information video that I'm going to do later on this week. Um, so we're going to talk about um, how to know if you're getting ripped off with fireworks and weight has a lot to do with it. Um, so we'll come back to that, but that's that's interesting. So that, that actually gives you the net explosive content. Um, what else have we got? So we've got two, two fountains in this pack. Um, we've got crackling kaleidoscope and straight away that feels quite light. And yeah, you can feel there's quite a bit of packing in there. Um, so the tube, the tube's only about that big. So I presume they've done that just for packing reasons, but um, don't be fooled, it's not actually that big. Um, but I have seen these and they're actually quite good. Um, you've got a crackling kaleidoscope. Now this one, how much weight is there? 55 grams in there. It doesn't say anything about the, um, doesn't say anything about the uh, actual effects. But if you look on the video online that Nigel has done, um, you can actually see these. Uh, perform and they're, they're quite good. Uh, this one feels a little bit heavier. Uh, Spring Blossom. Uh, let's have a look and see. Oh yeah, that one's 80 grams, so that one's a little bit more. But again, you know, for packing reasons, you can you can just see see my thumb there being able to push in. So then before that's not actually how big the tube is inside, but still they're they're good. I mean, I have seen these as I said, and they are quite good. Um, let's have a look, see what else we got. Um, okay, so this has got a bit more weight to it. This is a 56 shot uh, Roman candle, Thunder Barrage. Um, and it doesn't say any effects on there. Uh, it just says that it's a 56 shot cake. Um, sorry, 56 shot Roman candle. So we'll uh, have a look there. Now these, uh, these I remember when I was a kid. So you've got spooky spiders and spooky snakes. Um, oh, no. Spooky. Oh, right, I'm not really sure what's going on there. I think that must be a mislabel. That must be spooky snakes because it's got snakes on it, and the bottom one is spooky spiders. So I don't know. They must have had a mislabel there. Uh, but these are two little 96 shot cakes. Just remember, you've got to open the packaging and separate them because uh, it is two different fireworks. Um, and uh, yeah, just you know, very small caliber, uh, but a bit of fun. And uh, I haven't, as I said, I haven't set these off in quite a long time. Um, so I can't even remember what they look like. Um, what else have we got? Let's have a look. Um, right, we've got two of these triangular cakes here. We've got Meteor, which is a 21 shot cake. Let's have a look here if there's any, oh yeah, there's some effects there. So this one is uh, Red Tail to Red Crackle. I would presume that they already feel, you know, a decent weight, these ones, 125 grams. So you've got uh, Green Tail with purple and Green glitter bursts, and that one is called Asteroid. Um, this one is only, it's only a nine shot cake, this one I presume. Um, yeah, nine shot cake, this one. This is Atomic Bursts, and this one doesn't have any details on there. <clears throat> and then you've got the Fireball Cake, which is a 16 shot cake, about 100 grams of powder in there. I'm um, not seeing that one. You actually, oh, you actually get two of these. Yep. Oh, but this one, uh, okay, that's quite interesting. This one, for some reason, has more. That one has 115. That's a bit unusual. That one's got 115 grams, and that one's got 99.2. Um, okay, interesting. Not really sure what's, what the deal is with that one, but they're, uh, unless they mislabeled them, I don't know. Um, yeah, <laughs> not really sure what's happened there. 
Um, okay, let's have a look what we got. El Matador. This one is coloured tails with multicoloured bursts, 16 shots. And that one has 84.6 grams. You see, I mean, that's the thing. It's not necessarily about size. Again, we'll talk about this in the firework information video. But, you know, you'd, you'd think, just looking at these two, comparing them, you'd think, oh, the one on the right's going to be bigger. But it isn't. It's actually got less powder in it than that one. So, you know, again, we'll talk about that more in detail. But it's not, again, it's not about the size or the amount of shots. It's about the amount of powder inside and the quality of the product. Um, Missile attack. Of course, any box selection will not be complete without one of these. Um, this is a 100 shot Saturn missile battery, screaming tails. I don't know whether they have a report on the ends or not. Um, nice that it's all packed in because these have a, these little, we call them pencil tops, pencil lids. They have a tendency of falling out. You can actually pull these out. They're just little bits of plastic. Um, but uh, yeah, always a bit of fun on that one. And then you've got Toro the Bull, uh, which is exactly the same description as the Matador uh, but again 16 shot cake and then you've got one of these which these are great this is the crackling snake uh, 5,000 crackles six foot long twin turbo finale um, it says spectacular hanging fountain well it's not a fountain it's your good old-fashioned uh, Chinese um, crackle um, so if you pin that to a post or to a tree and then uh, light the tail and it uh, it's always good fun. Um, I would show you, but it's all taped and I've only got two hands, so can't uh, can't actually do that. I, Bright Star do one as well, uh, called the um, I can't remember what it's called. It's, it's it's you know very similar crackle crackle snake of some sort. Um, but yeah, that'll be good fun as well. I think, as a matter of fact, that's the only one in the video that Nigel doesn't show um, that one. But it's um, it's pretty much what it says on the box. And then you've got the Black Widow. Now this is the heaviest of all of them, definitely. This is 138 grams of powder. Um, there's the Black Widow, and there's also the Tarantula. Uh, they're both fairly similar. Uh, 19 shot cakes. Um, you'll remember this from last year's video. I had this in the Mammoth Cake Pack, which is 150 pounds, so slightly bigger budget if you if you're after. Um, and uh, this one's quite loud, so um, a good cake, this one. Um, probably, I would say, one of the better ones in the pack. But overall, for value, um, so let's see, we got uh, two, uh, two fountains, we've got the Roman candle, we've got a crackling snake, some single shot candles, and you, you know, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, you know, eleven cakes in there, so really good value for money um and if your budget is around the you know for less than 100 pounds that's a very good very good very good quality uh, box of fireworks there that i would um, i would definitely recommend and they come in a nice big box as well they come in a big carton box um so it protects everything uh, so if you want it to be mail ordered um you can um now nigel does do a uh, i think another pack which is slightly bigger than this it's 99 pounds 99 uh, I'm not sure if there's a member's price on that, um, from what I remember there isn't, but it's called the Platinum Plus Box, and what you get is you also get um, a pack of these Warhawk rockets, which I bought separately, um, and you also get a, a slightly bigger finale cake, I think it's from the Mysterious Mushrooms selection or something like that, um, but we actually got our own our own finale cake here in Diamond Princess, but we'll talk about more about that in a second. Let's have a look at the rockets. Um, so these are the Warhawk rockets by Bright Star. Um, these are amazing. Um, I think pound for pound, they are the best rockets that money can buy. If you're not sure which rockets to get this year and your budget's about, you know, between 20 and 40 quid on rockets, um, just trust me, go for a pack of these. Galactic Fireworks sell them at 29.99 and it's buy one, get one free. Um, in my view, really, you need to be spending ten, fifteen pound a rocket just to get this sort of effect. Um, as it turns out, you're only paying, you know, about five quid a rocket. Um, th these are awesome, very large bursts, uh, very loud, uh, just incredible. Um, but just trust me, risk a packet of these because they are absolutely awesome and uh, very excited. So, um, and I think again for forum members, I think you can actually buy these at uh, twelve pounds per pack. So I got two for £24, which is still even cheaper than the ones that they have online at £29.99. Um, so uh, looking forward to setting those off. And uh, for the finale, we have the Diamond Princess. I was originally going to get the Sapphire Crowns by Magnum, um, which is one of my favourite cakes of last year. Absolutely amazing, but they sell out so quickly and 
this year was no surprise. So we've gone for the Diamond Princess by Brothers, a very, very underrated firework. Um, I think it's amazing. Huge gold willows with a crackling willow finale. Um, 28 shots and uh, you know 408 grams of powder. So really a decent size cake um, for the money. I think it's about £28.99 is how much they're selling them for. Um, but a really, you know, a very, very good cake. Um, definitely have a look at that. I would recommend that. It's uh, probably one of the best finale cakes, I think, for the budget. Um, and there we have it. So that's stash video number one. Um, so once again, just have a quick look over. The Platinum Box, some Warhawks, and the Diamond Princess. Um, you know, for about 130 quid. And, and that would give you a really nice display. Um, you know, depending on how excited you get lighting these, probably... 20 minutes worth of fireworks I'd say um, you know and if you wanted to set up a couple of the rockets at the same time you'd need a you know they only give you one tube you'd need a couple of tubes but um, you know that's really a nice uh, a nice selection of fireworks there um, so thank you very much for tuning in um, if you uh, have any comments or questions please do feel free to ask um, and I'll do my best to answer them um, keep a lookout for the other videos, they will be coming up, we'll have stash video number 2, stash video number 3, and also the firework information video is promised, um, and um, please subscribe as well, so thank you very much, and uh, have a safe bonfire night.